Hey guys, Jay here with HTJ Custom Wraps. So, actually, I guess I'll do some of the video. Again, no cameraman, so um, I'm recording by myself. Um, so, if you follow me at all, you do notice that I do collect Funkos that I put up at the shop in the window. Um, I just got a big box in. Sometimes these big boxes, there's only one. I don't know, they, they package them to protect, I don't know, but... I'm hoping not. I think I know what they might be, but I'm going to unbox them so you guys can see what they are. You know, if you like the phone codes, you like seeing what they are, then great. Please watch the end of the video. Uh, maybe throw me a comment, leave me a, a big thumbs up or, you know, something. And if not, just watch anyways. I, I need the, I need the, the viewing content. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so that I can monetize my videos to where I can make sense when someone watches them. So it's really hard to, to really build the page and I try to find different things to kind of throw content so you guys can see. So this is one of them. So let's get to it. As you can see, I'm doing some uh, blue wrap right now. I will uh, show that vehicle when it's done. So I have to be careful here because one box I actually cut through and slit, slit the box. Which in turn, if I'm trying to collect these things, a cut box is not a good collectible. So let's see what we got. It is a Thanos Avenger. That's pretty cool. It's all, it's all gold in there. He's got some sort of sword that just kind of like looks like it's hanging. But, uh, oh, it just fell whatever it was but it's pretty cool that's one set that down it actually came it came very well wrapped I mean as you can see I have this one by four inch sheet of bubble wrap that was slightly placed right over the top to protect it whatever all right the big box let's see what we got More wrap, they're trying to protect even more, but hey, so I got a big box and a small box. So it's like a, it's like a double surprise. All right, so, oh, I hear them moving around in there. Don't, I shouldn't shake them. I got two boxes in here. Let's see. Here, we'll pull this down. All right. Oh, I think I know what this one is. Let's see? It is He-Man. So those of you that are a little older, you will appreciate the Masters of the Universe cartoon series that they made. They actually made a movie a while, a little while after that. I'm hoping they do a remake, like remaster it. But I've actually been looking for this just because I got some old school pops and that's that one and then we got the sorceress another masters of the universe some of these characters i don't even remember and so this is and prince adam so basically he-man isn't he-man you have prince adam and then when he throws his sword up and says by the power of gray skull he turns from prince adam into he-man and if I don't, if I remember right, I don't think the source was, I think there's another, there's a, there's a princess that turns into Shira. But again, I didn't follow it that much. So I'm guessing right now. But here, let's put these over here. And let's go to the next box. I think I'm gonna have to start getting shelving because I ran out of window space really fast. Oh yes, so we have the Avengers Thor in his whatever, uh, what is it, blah, 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 blah. Nope, this is just an Avengers Thor. So I try to do the uh, do the collections. See, this, was, this, this collection is big. It goes from 253, or sorry, 453 to 479. So there's a lot in between there that my wife's not going to be mad that I'm spending money on. Or she's not gonna be, not gonna be mad. She's not gonna be happy. 
And then we got uh, Rescue. So that is, I think that's uh, Gwyneth, Gwyneth Paltrow's character. And then along with that, we got the Hulk. Endgame Hulk. So this is a six inch figure. This is pretty cool. I got these in a kit. I think I bought them through Walmart and it ended up costing me like 30 bucks for the three He-Mans and or 28 bucks and then another 28 for the three. But this is actually, you know, worth essentially more if you were to buy everything separate. So I kind of got it as a kit. So I'm excited about those. Here, let me space them out so you can see them a little better. I'm going to take my phone down. The, the jumping, and I didn't mean to. My bad. Again, I'm not. I'm on my own camera, man. Okay, let's see here. Thanos, Rescue, Thor, He-Man, Sorceress, Prince Adam, Hulk. Okay, let's go over and see what we got. So we got uh, three Venom characters. I tend to collect a lot of Venom because they tend to look pretty cool. Uh, three garbage pails, three of the UFCs, um, Baby Driver from the movie, um, Captain Adam, Wonder Woman. I just got Superman over the weekend to go along with that set. I'm going to probably get some more. Uh, gar um, uh, why can I think? I can just read uh, Ghostbusters. And then I have a Captain America Iron Man. That is the when he says, I am Iron Man, and snaps his fingers, and then dies. Good old Walter Payton. Go Bears. And then these. These are more rare pops. Like, those pops are anywhere from $30 to $50 each. It's kind of crazy how much these things are worth. So, Iron Man, Halo, John Wick from the movie. This, this I don't think he's even come out, or it's just a cartoon version of it. There's some of these pops that haven't even come out, like the WandaVisions. All the pops came out, and they hadn't even aired the episodes yet. So, those are worth a little bit of money. Um, Dumb and Dumbers. Uh, we got the Macho Man, Randy Savage, Mr. T. I have the 70s Ric Flair coming. That's going to be pretty cool when it comes. I do. I also have a, uh, another 6-inch. It's a Professor Hulk. The Voltron Carnage. We got the R.I.P. Uh, Tupac, the R.I.P. Stan Lee, and there's the One Division. I'll tell you about. That's worth thirty bucks. And just I don't know why this is. Uh, two Hulks that are chrome. One's a special edition. Some you can't get only at Walmart, I guess. Uh, Fight Club. Back to the Futures. Got three of those, good old Biff and Doc and Marty. Some Spider-Man, some more Iron Man, another R.I.P. Uh, Easy E. Transformers, and I just got these, the Contras. If you guys played the old school uh, arcade game Contra, I got both those, um, a Die Hard. And then these Marvel uh, X-Men, they were actually on sale at Walmart. They, up, they were $3.88 each. So I got all these for three eighty-eight dollars each. And then the next week they all went back up to $11 each. So that was pretty cool. I got those. And then as you can see, that's fully full. So I need to get some more space. Let's go through, see what else I have in here. I have a Red Hood versus Deathstroke. That was pretty cool. I'm trying to get all the Fantastic Fours, so we have the Galactus and Mr. Fantastic. I just got the, last week I got the Stranger Things uh, 11 with Egos. Um, we have an Ironheart, which I think is supposed to be, if I remember correctly, Iron Man's daughter. We have uh, Jam Master J. This cost me $9 at GameStop, and it's worth $33. Uh, this is just a PlayStation character. This guy right here, the the Flash. This at GameStop, I guess they were, I don't know, trying to get rid of him or something. $0.97. Cents. Bought it for $0.97, cents and bought three of them. Gave one, got one for my kids, too. 
Uh, I have Raiden from Mortal Kombat. I actually just bought Luke Kang, and I got it, and the box was tore up. So I had to send it back, and that's how I got the Contra one. Uh, my daughter got this for my birthday, because I was, back in the day, I used I watched all the Harry Potters, so um, this was the only Harry Potter she could find, so that's what I got. Pretty cool. The old school glow worm. This actually glows in the dark. If you throw it up by light and turn the light off, it actually does glow. That's pretty cool. Um, the new Candylands are just coming out. You know, if you played the old board game Candyland, this is King Candy. And then this is a Dungeons and Dragon set. I got this at GameStop. It was actually on sale for like 23 bucks. And I scanned it. And it's worth 80. So a lot of a lot of these pops you just think are worth nothing and there's actually a huge following with all these Funko Pops that I never knew about until my boys started collecting them and then I started doing it just to do it with them because I figure at some point they'll get my full collection when I get done collecting all of them. But my whole window is now filled so I'm thinking about throwing some shelving right here and just lining everything up kind of in the shop. Leave some of these in the window. But we'll see how it goes. But anyways, you guys, thanks for watching. I know this has been, this is like almost a 12 minute video. Hopefully you guys saw a pop that you liked. Um, I mean, I made a joke when it was my, uh, was my birthday. And I said, yeah, I'll go back around and show the other ones while I'm talking. That if anyone want to do a, so surprise me for my birthday. I, I gladly accept a uh, a Funko Pop. Unfortunately, nobody surprised me with one, but I really didn't expect anyone to do it, anyways. But I thought I was. I thought I put it out there and see what people thought. But I'll probably uh, collect some more next time I get maybe a bigger shipment in, or I collect more. You never know. Maybe I will have a full wall next time you guys uh, I do a video and you guys see it. So you guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Again, please throw a comment below. Tell me, tell me what your favorite Funko Pop was. Uh, just a little heads up, like this one right here, this Captain Dark Marvel, like that's worth like fifty bucks. It's crazy how much these things are worth. I don't. It's just crazy. Those aren't even. Uh, there's no price for those even yet, which makes me excited. It'd be great to get. See if I can get signatures on these, but I don't know. Connor kind of. Took a dump his last fight. I don't know if he's done or not, but might have to burn that one. Who knows? But please leave a comment. Tell me which one you like the best. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, stay tuned for other things that I'm doing. And I will see you guys on the next wrap.